Hello and welcome back to the channel and of course welcome to my home. Today I have an unboxing for you. Woohoo! So this was actually sent. I was contacted and someone who makes jewellery said that they wanted to send me something. So here we are and I'm just, I'm using my, my little letter opener to open it. So I'm hoping that um, you can see. Wow. Oh, it's a lovely box. It's actually a really beautiful box. And I think, ooh, I have it, I have it upside down. Let's have a look. Ooh, there we go. So it's from Gary. Um, and I will, I will leave this linked because I know Gary has a, has a store where you can buy this. So let's just take out all of the plastic. Ooh, I mean, it comes really nicely wrapped, I have to say. So the packaging is really good. There's definitely gonna be no breakage here. It's a very strong and sturdy box. Let's have a look. Ooh. Oh, this, what could it be? What could it be? Are you excited, people? Ooh. Ooh, can you tell what it is? Now, I do... Oh, my goodness. It is a replica tiara. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's get it out of the bag. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, it's packaged very, very, very well. So, I do... Act, oh, wow. It's like it's articulated. So, I do actually have... Let's put all this down. I do have a replica of this tiara already, but this one looks far superior. It is a replica of the Sapphire and Diamond Queen Victoria tiara. This one you can actually find on display, I think at the uh, Royal Albert, the Albert and Victoria Museum. Can you see how it's sort of, it's articulated? I have never seen one, uh, a replica like this. You know, you can actually sort of, fold it up. Um, so there is a little strap mark here where you can put some elastic. So on some of my tiaras, I'm wearing the Gloucester Honeysuckle tiara currently. Um, but with some of my tiaras, they normally have like these little hooks and I normally put some elastic on. This one doesn't because it's got long, longer arms. But normally I do put some elastic on. But just look at the detail in this tiara. That is glistening. The sapphires look a really good uh, colour. That is amazing. And then on the on the reverse, it looks like this. <gasps> this is fantastic. Gary, thank you so much. So I'm going to pop it on without the elastic. Now, I can see this will fit any sort of head size. Well, most head sizes. I've got quite a small, narrow head. Um, so with the elastic that will allow me to sort of have it like that, if you like. But if I just leave it on, that's kind of like how it looks. This is far superior. I love the way it looks like it's coming out of the side of my hair and going up. And it's also more, more raised than my current one. This is a far better, superior recreation, I have to say. Uh, Gary, you have outdone yourself. Thank you so much for sending me this tiara. It looks fantastic. So um, I know that Gary has a store, um, which I will link to. I will leave full links in the description box below. Uh, so please let me know in the comment section if you've ordered one um, and let me know it, when you get yours, um, how you how you like it. I mean, that is a lovely, look at that, the detail in it. If And if I just put it in front of my hair as well. I know I normally wear my tiaras um, behind my hair, but that looks fantastic. I love it. I'll put it how I, how I normally have it. That's amazing. I Could you even wear this a bit like a bandeau? You probably could wear it more like a bandeau as well. And if I'm not mistaken, you probably could wear it more as a necklace too. How do you think? That looks really, really cool. I absolutely, I love the fact that it's sort of articulated. It's fantastic. So what I'm going to do now is show you in this video a little bit of information about the tiara. Queen Victoria's sapphire and diamond coronet holds a captivating tale of love, royalty, 
and the enduring legacy of a cherished gift. In the bustling halls of the Victoria and Albert Museum in London, this iconic tiara takes centre stage, inviting visitors to delve into the rich history woven into its intricate design. In the year 1840, amidst the grandeur of her impending wedding to Prince Albert, Queen Victoria received a remarkable gift from her soon-to-be husband, a splendid brooch adorned with a large sapphire encircled by dazzling diamonds. This exquisite piece, presented on the eve of their nuptials, held sentimental value and marked the beginning of a tradition of exchanging precious jewels between the royal couple. Eager to further adorn his beloved queen, Prince Albert collaborated with jeweller Joseph Kitching to craft a diamond and sapphire coronet. This delicate tiara, a testament to meticulous craftsmanship, featured festoon and trefoil ornaments set upon a base adorned with diamonds and sapphires in cushion and kite cuts. The coronet, unveiled in 1842, made its debut in a portrait by Franz Xavier Winterhalter, depicting Queen Victoria with both the sapphire brooch and coronet, a visual homage to 17th century court paintings. The coronet's unique flexibility allowed Queen Victoria to wear it in various settings, from an open tiara-like form to a closed small coronet. Despite the untimely death of Prince Albert in 1861, Queen Victoria continued to don the coronet during her mourning period, challenging the notion that she abandoned coloured jewels altogether. Her steadfast connection to the coronet assisted even gracing public events such as the 1866 state opening of Parliament. The coronet remained a cherished possession within the royal family, passing from Queen Victoria to King Edward VII and then to King George V. Surprisingly, it took an intriguing turn when upon Princess Mary's marriage in 1922, she received the coronet as a wedding gift from her parents, King George V and Queen Mary. The sapphire coronet became an integral part of Princess Mary's collection, adorning her during various occasions and exhibitions. After Princess Mary's passing in 1965, the coronet found its way to the Harewood collection, retaining its luster and significance. Following subsequent ownership changes, including a brief moment of uncertainty when the British government intervened to prevent its export, the coronet eventually found a permanent home in the Victoria and Albert Museum in 2017. Today, as the centrepiece of the museum's William and Judith Bollinger Jewellery Gallery, Queen Victoria's Sapphire Coronet continues to enchant visitors with its romantic history and intricate craftsmanship. Its presence serves as a tangible link to a bygone era, allowing admirers from around the world to appreciate this exquisite piece of royal jewellery history up close and personal. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and of course, do hit the bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. So from me, to you all, and goodbye.